guys, what is up? So today I am super excited because we are making one of my favorite dishes, but immediately I'm regretting it because our kitchen smells like fish. And anytime I try to make shrimp or fish or anything, I love it. But our kitchen will smell like it for days. Even if we like we totally clean up, wipe down, scrub, all of that, it'll just smell like it. And now I'm already smelling the fish. I'm just like, this is why we get fish and chips out. But today we're trying to make fish and chips, which seems super simple, but like all super simple recipes. Trish can never quite get it right, but we're doing Trish Like Fish. Today's gonna be Trish Like Fish Day. So we're just putting up uh, chips, the fries in the oven. And we're gonna try and make this batter. <laughs> Not beer batter, mineral water batter. I know like the beer will cook out or whatever, but you know, in the final months of pregnancy, we're just, you know, we don't wanna take any chances. So uh, yeah, we're gonna make some fish. We got some codfish. I'm gonna fry it on up and see how it tastes. So. Let's get into it. I also just snacked on some Doritos before, so I couldn't have that taste in my mouth. Before we get into this batter over here, I'll leave below, of course, the recipe that I'm following. Um, we are going to start with our fish. We have some beautiful pieces of cod right here. So we're gonna salt and pepper these, and according to the recipe I'm following, you're not really supposed to salt and pepper them beforehand, but she's saying do it, so hers looks crispy. I followed her recipe before, I trust her, so we are gonna just do that. And then we're gonna put them in the fridge until we're ready to batter. So we cut them into little squares and popped our fries in the oven because we want them to be extra crispy. So now we're gonna put this aside and make the batter. Okay, so we are going to add in our flour. It's one and three fourths cup. And then we are gonna put our seasonings in. And then we're gonna do seasonings. So she put a little lemon pepper in. And I got this in the little fish section. So yeah, one and three fourths cup flour. And um, then she put some onion powder in. You know, they always say like a teaspoon, but I always see it and I feel like my batter's correctly. So I kind of just eyeball it. And then some paprika. I think she could add cayenne, but I don't know about spicy fish. So we're just gonna stick with the paprika because I like my fish, fish kind of basic. And then baking powder. Okay, we do have two tablespoons of baking powder, so we will measure this. Let's see if I get this right. Okay, that's one. And then two, because the first one's a bit hefty. Alrighty, so now that we have that, we're going to use salt this. And I put my flour away, but don't put your flour away because you're going to need it because we're going to have flour in the thing too. So this is like a wet batter we're making. So getting all the time. And then they said 450 milliliters of uh, beer or mineral water. I, she was using mineral water, so that's the one I'm going with. Um, this is actually kind of hard to find. We found it in Whole Foods, but just put it up here. We will measure this. And she slowly adds hers in, so it's like a pancake. Can you even see anything that I'm doing? <laughs> a pancake consistency. What does mineral water taste like? Can you drink mineral water? I don't even know. All right. So, give that another good stir. And then we'll just add it in. Okay. Interesting. Use a spatula, but she used one of these things. Just get this all wet. Yeah, making mix is never my strong suit either. Like pancakes. As soon as she said like a pancake, I was like, ooh. I reverted back to the Japanese pancakes that were a fail. So, like I said, she said she eyeballed her, so maybe I'll need more, but this is. I mean, I made wet batters before, and this kind of looks like it's supposed to be a wet batter. Just get all the lumps out. It smells good. Lemon pepper is kind of a new seasoning. We used it once before, but it's kind of a new seasoning for us. But I feel like it will taste really good with the fish. They always serve fish and chips with some lemon zest, which we do have. Now we're gonna make up the tartar sauce, which we should have looked up earlier because she had to leave it in the fridge for at least an hour or we'll probably leave it in for like 30 minutes, I guess. Um, she said she left hers in overnight, so once again, I guess start this early. She had it at the end, so I was very confused. But okay, I've never had tartar sauce in my life. 
But you know what? I always think I make stuff really, really well. So I might actually try my own concoction. So she had a lot, but again, you know what? It's just us. It's just two of us. So I'm going to eyeball pretty much everything because again, we're only two people. And last time we made raisin cane sauce, like it just, and honestly, I don't even think I've ever had mayo. I know mayo's like texture and stuff is like weird, but okay, I think that's good for like two of us. And then relish, never had relish, but they look like pickles. And I don't think I like pickles very much, but you know what? Again, that's what the recipe calls for. We're putting in the relish. <laughs> Let me show you how to spoon for this. Slowly but surely, it is not coming out. And there we go. The last thing I want is pickle juice or fish juice on my outfit. <laughs> I really should wear an apron. We have so many of them. I buy them. I don't wear them. I'm gonna get a spoon, which is probably what I should to begin with. Yes. <laughs> That's what you should do. Okay. So much easier. So we have the relish, and then we have chives and dill. Okay, I'm gonna put those in. I'm gonna put some seasoning. We got some lemon pepper seasoning. I might put a little more mayo to balance out that relish. <laughs> we'll see. And some onion powder. And then of course we have some wonderful lemon, which is just so much fun to squeeze. So we're gonna squeeze all the lemons. Like we can garlic butter. With pickles and mayo. Oh, I do love the smell of lemon. Oh my god, so good. She puts like lemon zest, but I feel like that's literally so much work. So we might skip the lemon zest. I don't know. I might have to put a little more mayo in here because right now this is just looking like relish. <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? It doesn't smell too bad. It doesn't smell that bad. <laughs> okay. At first, I was like, this is like so icky, but. Okay, this bottle, squeezy bottle's cute, but also we need a full mama, mama. All right. I think it's like a little liquidy. <laughs> well, you know what, good thing both of us, neither of us are very like into tartar sauce, but we wanted to try it for this recipe. And as you can tell, I'm like really hungry. That's why I'm like rushing because our last step is to fry these fish, which is gonna be like, it feels so easy. Let me just make this tartar sauce. Maybe like putting it in the fridge, you know, kind of like, I mean, it's sauce at the end of the day. You don't want it to be. Okay, I think it's good. Do a little more seasoning. Okay, a little more onion powder. Smells good though. Like I'm not hating the smell. I thought I'd be like, oh, gross. Okay. So again, I'll link below her recipe. But we are going to saran wrap it and put it in the fridge for as long as we can. And like I said, I would guess about 20 minutes by the time we're ready to serve. So we'll see. I guess I don't know why you can't just leave it like that, but we'll see if putting it in the fridge magically does anything. Alright, here we go. Now we're going to flour up our fish to put in the fryer. So now we are going to flour up our fish. Oh, this is the one that's sticky, dang it. Okay, so while we have the oil, thank you, while we have the oil um, heating up, we're gonna take a little bit of flour and we are going to coat our fish, but not too much, usually with chicken, the secret is to coat like every inch, but she was saying don't do too much. So we're gonna just do a little bit. So, and she kinda even shakes it off a little cause she's just like, this is to make the batter stick, but nothing like crazy. So we're gonna take these first two pieces. She puts hers on the same thing. Move the pieces up here. Okay. Move them up here so they're ready. 
So we're gonna just lightly batter and shake off. I'm so used to like coating every piece because I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, but lightly batter. Let's see this one. Shake it off. Same thing with this. Okay, the fishy smell has gone down, so that's always good. But I like cod. I like cod and halibut. I don't like a lot of fishy fish, but cod I can do. So this was a good recipe. And I really do love fish and chips. I love eating fish and chips out. We have a really good fish house near us, so. Kind of spoiled the fish and chips, but you know. All right. So we got that done with the fish. Okay, so this is our frying station. So we have our pieces of fish right here, and she does the batter straight into the oil. So that's what we're gonna do. See if we can cover this baby. All right. Don't want it to drip too much. Okay, scrape it on the side. All right, here we go. All right, there we go. Okay. They are frying in there. It's been a couple minutes, so we're about to pull out. All right, so. Get it out, putting it on our drying rack. I'm so curious. I'm so curious too. Okay, we, we have the fish and chips. <laughs> we'll see how this turned out. They look good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The batter's different, okay. Oh. Mm. Wow, this is a really good batter. Yeah, surprisingly tasty. I the rest of this recipe is so simple, mm -hmm. so I don't know. A white fish. It's nice and crispy. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. It's like very light. I think because we're so used to like the restaurant being so thick and greasy, this is very light. The fish is delicious. Mm. It's like when mm. when you fried it, like the batter looked so thick, and it was kind of like ballooning, like a balloon. But mm -hmm. Like then it like, I thought, oh my god, it's going to be so heavy. It's going to be so... Yeah, but it's actually like really light. Mm -hmm. I love the fish in there, too. The fish is so good. Mmm. Okay, show the jar. <laughs> I was so tired making it. And um, being nine months pregnant, Moses is always in here helping me. And he's just like, what happened? My like, babe, I don't know. How does it taste? Pickly. Okay. <laughs> Mostly tastes like pickles, relish. <laughs> really, I know. I like the juice. I, I it's was like so tired. Like relish with a little bit of mayo. <laughs> you like relish or no? <laughs> well, you can make some. There's some over there. I know. I know. I when I saw the juice go in, I was like, this batter. Come on. Let me try. <laughs> I would actually. I would actually get. Oh, I'd put a lot. <laughs> what? I would actually get fish and chips in the restaurant if it was like this. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hard to find good fish and chips because the pieces... I put way too much on, okay. Ugh. Like usually. Mmm. It's pickly. That tartar. What is it? Tartar sauce? Tartar sauce. Tartar. Tuna tartar? I don't know. Oh, I can eat this other part. <laughs> yeah, that sauce I don't know about. And these chips I don't know about you. We had those in for a minute. What do you mean? We had these in for like a really long time. And I oh like, yeah, I was surprised. I thought it'd be like super well done. Yeah, I was trying to find something chippy, you know, like the the wide chips, but almost like a potato wedge. Mmm. Yeah, I'm not mad at this. It's good. Uh, the fish and chips are actually like super easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm late. We had a long day. <laughs> But as far as like recipes, it wasn't like wasn't much to it. The batter was super easy. Ooh, look at that white fish. The cod is good. We got the cod from Whole Foods. It is good. Mm hmm. It's very light. Not that greasy. Yes, in restaurants, you know, they 
try to make it look like it's more fish by putting mm -hmm. a little bread on it. Yep, and bulk it up. I like it. This is a lot of fish with a little bit of bread. Mm -hmm. The batter is so good that I was surprised. What was in it? Like. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was thinking about I was blocking something else. Um, it was flour, mineral water. All right. Wait, no. Flour. Oh, baking powder. Lemon pepper. I mean, the main ingredients were flour and baking powder, which is seasoning. Paprika, lemon pepper, onion powder. And mineral water. I think that's it. I wonder what, like with beer, you know, because a lot of times you get beer battered fish. I mean, to me, it's perfect. Like, I don't think it needs anything extra. Hmm. Well, we haven't had fish in a while. So that'd be fun to make a fish dish. It doesn't smell as fishy as like our shrimps. No. Oh. But I wonder if they use, maybe they use beer to... You kind of like the sauce? Mm -hmm. <laughs> to what, thicken it? No, so they won't use regular water. So they use beer. Because maybe in the beer, the water is, goes through the same mm. process. Yeah, because she was very specific, like mineral water. <sighs> okay. Mm-mm-mm. I'm glad I ate fish as much fried. Mm. Fish nuggets. Mm. I do like the long ones that reminds me of the restaurant. Mm. Yeah, the fish itself is really good. Mm-hmm. All food's coming in. <laughs> what should we cook next? What's your ideal meal? Like, what would you love to cook? What's something you love at a restaurant that we can cook at home? Well, <laughs> we have one thing we haven't done at all. What? Soup. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of the noodle soup. Yeah. Do you make something with it or just soup? It's chicken. Oh. There's chicken and potatoes in the soup. Soup sounds hot. I mean, we can, but everything about it, I'm like, I mean, this is hot. But we can. You have your mom's recipe? Oh, I mean, it's true. It is usually very hot, so. Yeah, I mean, we're eating hot food. It's not good. It's not the same, though. <laughs> soup, we like sweat. We make matzo ball, chicken noodle matzo ball. Oh, I love when this falls apart. Does this have a thing, too? Um, oh, there is, there is like a, it's not like stew you made, but something like that. Let's do. It's like a beef, it's like beef cooked in sauce with. Mm. Like a slow roast? Yeah, but it's a bit different. Mm. So that's an option. I'm down for all of it. We're weeks away from giving birth, so. <laughs> we got a minimal with him. Just one dish that my that's my favorite dish. Which one? But it's not an easy one to make. Uh -oh. I don't know. <laughs> it's okra. It's an okra dish. It's like cooked in sauce. Same thing with chicken, potatoes, and everything. What is okra? That little green. It's like little vegetables, kind of like the green beans. I've heard of like fried okra. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, just not fried, it's cooked in sauce. Just by itself? And that's the whole meal? In sauce with chicken and potatoes. Oh, oh, chicken too. And you have it with rice, so. Potatoes and rice? Mm -hmm. So the sauce, it's kind of like the sauce you like, it's the same sauce. So that sauce on the rice, oh, potatoes, what sauce? Chicken. What sauce? It's a red sauce for the... Well, where do we eat it? What sauce did I like? We made it kind of in like a different dishes that we made. It's like, it's mostly... It's... I guess the closest one would be the pasta sauce we made. It's kind of like a red sauce. Mm. Paprika and those things. I'd be down for that. I love sauces now. 
nutrition. <laughs> Yeah, my it's good. Get full fast with that fish. I know the breading. Oh my god, my belly too. It feels like I honestly don't know if I will be able to eat in the next couple weeks. It fills up so fast. I think as soon as I sit down, it just fills up, and I'm just like, oh, okay. You gotta stand up eating, <laughs> or lay down and stretch it out. Oh. Yeah. Um. What? <laughs> <laughs> what do you call it? Like cocktail? When they have those high tables, people stand around. Like cocktail hour? <laughs> you and me would have cocktail hour? Mm -hmm. Okay. We should have some drinks. I mean, feel low energy, it's really just because there was a lot happening today. Um, it was a good By day. the end of the day, when we... Yeah. Just after 8 p.m. Well, the real end of the day is when we get... Well, comfy clothes, you have to come close on out. When I get comfy clothes, makeup off, uh, ice cream on the couch, watching our TV shows, and cuddling. We don't do 9 to 5, we do 9 to 9. Literally. But even more so, because this morning we got up and started like, right away I was like on my computer at like 7.30, I was just like, which I don't like to do either. I like to wake up slowly, wake up together, but... Tomorrow I have a day off. Tomorrow I have a day off. Yes. <laughs> and Friday. Look, here's me. I can take the day off every day. But this week I've been really... I've been doing so many, like, routine videos. And those are fun. And you think they'd be easy because you just go about your day. But, like, setting up a shot and, like, <laughs> acting in the shot. It's actually a lot. <laughs> They're you fun, though. Do, uh, huh? You should do doing my routine videos. Routine videos. <laughs> the behind the scenes. Of, that's kind of what TikTok is. <sighs> it's just so much. <laughs> Luckily, I mean, today we did a work routine one, and that was actually like so hard because, like, when we work, it's so much energy. We work together, <sighs> and that was just so on top of everything. But I think we did it. I'm excited. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. This was good. Honestly, this was good. I feel like my energy is like like low, but this was really good. What it, would we eat again? Like, yeah, I guess if we're in the mood for fish. But we have such a good fish place near us, so it's kind of easy to go get fish and chips. Although that batter is heavy compared no, to this No, I batter. like this more. Better mm. than the restaurant? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Definitely. Mm. Yeah, this was really good. Also, we use fresh oil. Yeah. It's, it makes all the difference. Fresh fish. We can see the pieces. I hate when there's like really thick, dark pieces in the fish, especially in a white fish. I liked it. Tartar sauce? What do you rate the tartar sauce? It's edible. <laughs> it does the trick. <laughs> you were dipping stuff in there. Yeah, no, it's good. It's just Actually, even, even in the restaurants, I'll take a little bit of ketchup with it, too. It's almost like a Thousand Island. They had, we had that mixed one, remember? Mm -hmm. The ketchup and mayo mix. So it's pretty good. The fries are there. How? I guess it's when we need an air fryer, as everyone keeps telling us. It's so weird, though. Like I know. How do you mess up fries? Because we should we like fries in the oven, but these were not it. And we did, we baked, like, baked it like the usual. It wasn't even, you know, <laughs> there was no action there. Aw, I love footsies. Mm -hmm. You ever play footsies with someone when you were in high school? Like, under the desk? No? Oh, okay. <laughs> How you play it? <laughs> Alright, I need to take this makeup off. Clean up this kitchen a little. We and need no. to. We're gonna let that dill pickle and mayo sit out. <laughs> no, that one, but. And the what batter? Just a little. You get 15 minutes. Okay, <gasps> gotta go. Oh, it's not too late, actually. I thought it was later than it is. By the time you finish doing the dish. <laughs> and taking off my makeup. And mm -hmm. Takes a while. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for all your help today. I really cannot do it without you. Yeah. I love you so much. How's Thank your little you. game coming? You know, We're winning. That's what we want. <laughs> all right, guys. Love you. I'll link below the original recipe. This was good. Yeah, it's really, really good. It was like our first real meal once again of the day. So, <laughs> thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.